Hi guys, today we're going to be having a little look at ethics and there's a little starter here for you. So what you're going to do is rank the statements in order of what you think is most important to least important. So in your paper booklets, okay, so you're going to rank these. So for example, if you think not using child labour is the most important, you would put number one. And if you thought, then you would say not testing on animals, maybe could be number two and so on. You would put it in order of most important to least important. What is ethics then? So to be ethical in business is to do what is morally right in such a way that it does not have any implications or any sort of negative impacts on the welfare of people, animals, or the environment. So it's becoming increasingly more important for customers to know that what they are purchasing has been produced ethically. So you might be starting to buy things from shops or different businesses, and you want to know um, that anything you're buying is ethically being produced. So how are businesses ethical? Well, you've got the likes of the car industry who are trying to lower carbon emissions. You've got some businesses like the body shop who are trying to not test on animals. One of the uh, um, biggest things is the fact that they do not test on animals and a lot of sort of vegetarians or vegan people um, therefore shop at the body shop and they will spend a lot more money on products to make sure that there has been no animal testing. Um, and you've got people who will look into companies and make sure they have fair prices for their suppliers or their customers. And there's a little link there to BBC Bite Size, so click on that and it'll show you a little video and a few different entrepreneurs and different people explaining how um, businesses can be ethical. Next two slides then are just a couple of videos to help you with your understanding of business ethics. Okay, so we've got Starbucks and Ford and what they do to be ethical. Then I want you to do a little bit of research and find out what these symbols mean. So if you have a little look in your paper booklet, you've got a slide for each one there and explain what the symbol means. So then what you're going to do is pick one of these three companies, okay? And what you're going to do is research the ethical business practices that this company shows. So for example, if you look up BP, you need to include a br brief background on the business, okay? So when was it started? What is, it, what is the business? Any key facts and figures? How they are tackling the business ethics or global warming? main business ethics taken from their website and any other relevant news articles surrounding the business. So you need, you need to have a little look on their personal website and see what they say about their business ethics. But not only their website, please research around it and see what other websites say because, be, because um, some companies will claim that they are extremely ethical and they do all these different things and then when looked into from different areas they actually um, aren't as ethical as they like to claim. So this is where you would put that information so the company I have chosen is and you can put the company that you have picked so either BP, the water company or Starbucks and add your information in there. And then, what do you think? Is it important for businesses to be ethical and why? So, in your paper booklet, just a quick paragraph, just a paragraph to explain um, why you think it's important for businesses to be ethical. So, do you think it's important and why? So there are some benefits and implications to having an ethical company 
and some businesses rate their success based on profits as you might um, well agree however others do rate it based on a mix of profits social and environmental performances okay so for example you've got the body shop their benefits are loyal customers they have a good reputation for not testing on animals they might then therefore have happier staff and their profits might be higher because they have such loyal customers however it is probably costly is it quite difficult to maintain this kind of approach would they have a loss of profit due to the amount of people who wouldn't spend the extra money in the body shop and are there false expectations will everyone always be happy within a business it doesn't matter what you do there will always be someone who thinks that you should be doing something better so your task involves researching the benefits and implications of running a business ethically so have a little look um, you can google the benefits of a ethical business and then you can have a little look at any negative implications of having to run an ethical business okay so does running a business ethically add value to your company or does it add cost and in your paper booklet you have this table here which you can fill in and then what I want you to think about is ethics in your own business idea so where you have planned your own idea so for example if you've got um, the hairdressers or a beauty salon name three ethical concerns you think customers may face with your small business so why are they important how could it affect your business and how would you overcome them so for example um, if you are a sort of beauty salon something like that and you have a makeup artist so would you expect that makeup artist to pay more money to make sure that they have um, makeup that is ethical so I think it's Mac that uses um, has a quite an ethical company and they don't test on animals and things but it is more expensive than say if you had a cheaper brand of makeup okay so would you expect that person in your business then to spend more money on makeup and have a more of an ethical business you need to think of three ethical concerns that customers may face with your small business so it says return to slide four some for some more guidance okay so this is just a little example of um, some of the things you might be thinking about and remember the video there to help you you've also got the Starbucks video and the Ford video in case you wanted to go back and have a little look over those and in your paper booklet there's a little slide there where you can put your three ethical concerns you can add another slide if you need to but that's where you need to put your concerns about your small business idea and what might not um, be very go down very well with customers with your business and how you how could you make yours ethical if there are some issues and that is the end of the ethics topic if you need any help at all please let me know on teams or email me